rebels were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, You who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from the cross if you are the Son of God. In the same way, the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders mocked him. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. He's the king of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the son of God. In the same way, the rebels who were crucified with him also heaped insults on him. As kids, we're taught this little saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. <laughs> we're taught this in order to shrug off the insults that other kids can hurl at us um, in order that we can just move on with play period or move on with our day and not dwell on what others say. But as, a, as adults, we know that words can hurt. Sometimes words can hurt more than physical injuries. Jesus knows this too. On the day that Jesus was crucified, he was mocked and insulted more in a few hours than most people experience in a lifetime. The scriptures tell us that the soldiers mocked him. The religious leaders hurled insults at him. The passerby even insulted him. And to add insult to injury, Matthew's gospel tells us that the two criminals crucified on either side of him also insulted Jesus. When we experience insults in our daily life, when we feel betrayed by people, we can turn to Jesus and know for sure that he understands what we're going through. And even beyond understanding it, he went through it himself and he left us a model for how to deal with it. We are to forgive them and we are to pray for them. Jesus did exactly that in his time on earth. Let's pray. Dear Lord, Please forgive us when our words hurt others. And by the same token, please help us to forgive those whose words hurt us. Lord, we want to live by the model you set for us, to forgive others and to pray for others. Help us to do that in your name. Amen. Thank you.